Minecraft with me, Lenlin. Um, I've done a little bit of work, as you can see. I built a library. And I cleaned out um, some of the dirt that was over here. Oh, shit. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't do it. Ah, sucker. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna. I um between this episode and next, I'm gonna clear out this area and build um a farm because I need a farm because uh, the book recipe changed, so I need leather. But anyway, um, I made up the mine shaft a little bit more. Looks real nice now. Go straight down. Um, it's still not quite finished, but it's it's pretty much done. To get ready to uh, start mining. But yeah, I built it up real nice, and I'm gonna fill the tower up with lava. It's gonna look real good. It's gonna look real nice. But um, most of the work I've done has been on this thing right here, the library. Now the dirt blocks mark where I'm gonna build uh, bookshelves. As you can see, I already built two of them because I just wanted to see how the recipe worked, make sure the bookshelf recipe was the same. And they were. And this is gonna where I'm gonna have my enchantment table once I get to that point. So the bookshelves are gonna be around this. And then the dirt is going to be all bookshelves as well. Now, I wanted to make a staircase, but the staircase was going to be too big. So I wanted it to look really cool. I wanted it to be a nice looking staircase. Not something boring. Um, but it was going to be too big, and I didn't want this building to be uh, too gigantic. Because the bigger it is, the more bookshelves I have to make. <laughs> I have a little balcony out here. And then it's open up top. And uh, we can go up one more floor, up to here, where we uh, kill the invisible skeleton. Why can't we kill you? Ah, uh, we're going to light it up, though. Stop shooting me. Can I hit him now? Nope. One more light. Uh, down we go. No, oh, down we go. Ah, oh, Made it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Let's go and see, let's see some food. I've actually had a few monster attacks like that where they've been kind of like semi like transparent. What the hell? Blocks still randomly explode, as you can see. They just randomly kaboom. It's annoying. So anyway, um, I'm not done with this yet. I've got some more decorations and stuff I want to do. But what I wanted to do with you guys while I was on camera was lay down some flowers and flower pots. Pretty simple, but it's straight to the point and kind of fun. At least I enjoy it. Because I like my decorations. And we're also going to build um, more bookshelves. Because like I said, the recipe changed. So, if anybody doesn't know, see? God damn it. I don't have any white on me. Eh. Hmm. I don't know where to put the other ones. Oh, I know where to put some. Out here. I really hate how you have to have... Um, oh, that looks ugly. <laughs> Let's put it on the ground. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I wish you could put them on fence posts. That'd be awesome. There we go. That looks good. Now, the railing is up here right now, but I think actually the bookshelves below are going to reach up past it, which was kind of what my original intention was, but we'll see, because I wanted uh, one really like long one to go all the way up to the top, but we'll see. Depends on uh, if it's lined up correctly. Yeah, it is. So yeah, it'll go all the way up to the top. But yeah, that's why the railing's there, there for now, just so I don't fall off, because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah precautionary and of course the crafting tables up here because I kept having to craft things like fence posts and stuff but again this is still a work in progress it's not done but I like it so far the frame is done though like the building itself is done I just gotta add like trimming and stuff make it look real nice let's put one here the red flower one here with the red flower and one there because you can you can walk around them yeah Cool. Sweet. I like flower pots. I just wish you could put them on more things. 
Oh, here we go. We can put flower pots over here. Oh, that's real nice. I need more flower pots, though. <laughs> I've made a bunch. I definitely made a bunch. I need more clay. Because uh, I think I used all my bricks. So anyway, um, let's build some bookshelves. Now, obviously, my first goal is to complete the... Um, the enchantment table ring, but I don't have any diamonds yet, or obsidian for that matter, so I might just build the other stuff first, but I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling when I walk over there. So, I also noticed that you get XP for, like, smelting things and cooking stuff, which I think is really cool. I like that. Oh, we can make another bed. Be my last bed. So, um, I kept having to fight spiders, so I kept eating string, and eventually I had enough string to make some wool but the next thing I need to build is definitely a farm so I can have a so steady source of food a farm and um, an animal pen, a barn there we go, a farm and a barn because so I have no food, I've just been going out there and slaughtering hundreds of cows because there are a shit ton of cows but I don't like having to run around and it would be nice to have um, different sources of food though I have no idea how to get potatoes I have one potato, but I don't know how to use it. Um, I'll have to look it up. Though I've been having some trouble finding stuff on the latest snapshot. Most of the stuff that's... Most of the stuff that I find on the wiki is just stuff that's in 1.3. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to search a little hard. But it's okay. It's alright. So anyway. Let us go build some bookcases. Is the leather? Oh, oh, I have it on me. Sweet. I have a lot of gunpowder. I'll probably make some TNT blow blow up the initial uh, little area where I'm going to start digging, just so I can kind of make an established little base. Because I want to eventually make um a train station, like rail carts that carry my stuff and me up and down. So to make books now, you need three pieces of paper like you did before, but you also need a piece of leather. Which kind of sucks when you need to make a lot of bookshelves. Because, I mean, if it was just the original recipe of three paper, I would have a shit ton of bookshelves. But it's okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Oop. There we go. Sweet. And then the, uh, the bookshelf recipe is the same as it always was. That's so crazy. You can make wood buttons. I wonder if you can make wood levers. Well, I'll have to look into that once I start, once I get redstone. Because I want to make an automated wheat farm. That's probably why I haven't really started a wheat farm yet. Oh, that sucks. All that leather and wood. Or all that leather and uh, wood. I've only got four. <laughs> only got four books. Or bookshelves. This is going to take... Damn it! Fucking random blocks exploding. Wow, at least I got three. Well, I think I only got two books back, but I had another book. That's going to be really annoying with the bookshelves. I'll be very happy when the newest snapshot comes out. So then hopefully it fixes that annoying ass bug. So I'm sure it's not the only person to have it, too. Alright. <sighs> Once we replace this freaking bookshelf. There we go. Not quite. <laughs> We have a lot of bookshelves to go. So, we definitely need to get a cow farm going. We don't really need any more sugar cane. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and destroy a bunch of it. Damn it. Fucking random blocks exploded. I mean, it's occasionally cool when I'm mining stuff. Like when I'm trying to destroy blocks, it's okay, but it's she look at this. Look at look at all these random blocks just blowing up. I mean at least I get them back. Usually. Unless they blow up not near me. Oh, thought I had more dirt. Oh well. Okay, so we'll leave this sugar cane here. Actually get rid of this stuff too. There we go. So then I can dig up the sand <laughs> for glass. 
But I'm good on glass for now. Oh yeah, um, I'm sure you noticed. I didn't say anything, but I planted a bunch of birch trees. Because I had a lot of birch tree saplings. So, I just planted some because it looked nice. But anyway, yeah, there's our library. I like it. Like I said, I'm not done. That ghost skeleton's still up there. It's kind of scary. But, like I said, um, between this episode and the next episode, I'm definitely going to uh, dig this area out. Because I want to build a farm and a barn. Though, I'm not really sure which one I need more right now. I think I need a barn more than a farm, because I need leather. Um, I made, oh yeah, I made armor too. And I dyed it. It was really easy. After I dyed it, I realized, I was like, oh, I should have waited and recorded that. But, when, uh... When this leather armor dies, or breaks up, and all that stuff, I'll be sure to uh, save it. You can only dye leather armor. You can't dye any other color armor. Or any other type of armor. Which kind of sucks. But I guess it would kind of defeat the purpose. You couldn't tell what kind of armor it was. <laughs> Unless you are using a uh, texture pack. A specific texture pack. Oh, you also may have noticed I look like a normal dude now. Like, I, I don't look like uh, Doctor Who. David Tennant anymore. That's because uh, my, like I said, my internet's dead, and I don't have it. I don't have my phone plugged in now. I need to let it charge, so I'm not connected to anything. I did connect for a little while yesterday and uh, let one of the uh, League of Legends regional fights. I watched one of the matches. I don't remember who it was against. I think it was uh, Najin Sword and Taipei Assassins. Game one it was pretty good. <laughs> I was very impressed. Oh, I also watched all of Moscow Five stuff. All three. Oh, well, yeah, all three. All three of those. All three of those matches. You know, those spoilers. <laughs> okay, there's only two matches. By the time this comes out, it'll be long gone. It'll be long over. Shit. By the time these come out, it might be like. World Finals time. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, man. I hope I can watch that. I'll be sad if I can't. <laughs> but anyway. Just trying to make conversation while I dig through this. I forgot to start my timer, and I don't want to accidentally make a really short episode, because those kind of suck. But we'll see. I'm just kind of going off my mind right now. Like, how, how, how long does it feel like it's been... <laughs> But I don't feel like it's been that long, so I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish digging out this area. Now, like I mentioned before, I want to do like a rail cart, rail track way um, for our mine shaft. Just because it's so deep, it can get really annoying to run back up and down, especially if we need supplies, like if we need picks and stuff. So, what I wanted to do was set up a railway system so we can go up and down. Because, I mean, it wouldn't really be realistic in vanilla Minecraft to make a way to get me supplies. Like, I'd have to... It wouldn't be... It'd be pointless because I'd have to go up there and make them all anyway. <laughs> and if we had a bunch of mods, that'd be different. But we can, however, automate um, sending supplies up. It's that simple. Um, should I go all the way down? One more level? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that off camera. That's boring. I don't think I've mined enough. But this, this isn't, I mean, this is enough room for the a pin for the animals, but not for our barn. And the barn, I'm not going to go all crazy with the barn. This is going to be a regular barn. Sorry, this is bothering me. <laughs> There we go. All right, sweet. But yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. I'm definitely gonna build the barn area. It's probably gonna be over here in the corner. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. We'll see. And then uh, the farms definitely. The, the, the farms last on the list only because. Well, I guess I'll build a farm once I finish the barn and everything, because I, I need the wheat in order to get the animals over here. So I guess, I guess the uh, farm is going to be first. 
then the pen for the animals, and then the barn, and yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. Weather's changing around here, so I got kind of a stuffed up nose. Starting to cool off, which is really nice, considering circumstances. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put glowstone up there too, where the uh, cobblestone is. So a lot of the um, real flashy niceness of all my builds are really kind of waiting on glowstone, because for the path I'm gonna have glowstone lamps, not redstone. Well, I might do redstone lamps. Yeah, I'll do redstone lamps so I can turn them on and off at night. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. So anyway, let's go fight the skeleton. Uh, uh, and let's see if we can get this creeper to blow up. In a, in a good location. Blow up. There we go. Damn it, man. Skeletons everywhere. I'm on normal mode, too. There seems to be so many. Because normally I play on hard. Um, with all the other um, snapshots and patches and stuff. Just because it's not too terribly difficult. Like I like playing it on hard because it, it kind of forces me to build a farm and get animals and stuff. And, you know, wear armor. Um... Because on normal mode and stuff in the previous patches, it was it was it was pretty easy. But hard mode made it a little bit more exciting, because you definitely had to eat. But man, in this snapshot shot, even on normal mode, it's, it's a little tough. Maybe maybe it's just that I haven't played uh, vanilla Minecraft in a long time. But I see the challenge, and I, I I enjoy it. I like it. Ugh, I want to finish, but I must look away. What I definitely need to do is rearrange my inventory a little bit. Let's go ahead and put this paper and stuff away. Um, also, if you're curious, I probably haven't lit this up very well, but I have the uh, brightness jacked all the way up. Like I try to overdo it with uh, torches just a little bit, just because I don't, I can't really tell because the brightness is way up. Because Minecraft is so dark on YouTube if you don't increase the brightness. Like, I'll probably have to increase the brightness in the, um, uh, when I go to edit it as well. Paper, paper, paper. Um. I also really, I need to make a room to store all of my stuff. I don't know if I want to keep it here in the house. And I wish I had, um. One of the inventory management mods. I like being able to sort everything. It's really, really, really convenient. Because I don't always notice if I need to stack stuff. Granted, the uh, inventory sorting mod doesn't let you know if... Um, if you have uh, the same stuff in multiple chests. Oh, I have two potatoes. I don't know what to do with potatoes. I'm pretty sure you can plant them and they grow into something or another. Um, I just, I don't know. I'll look in, again, like I said, I'll look into it when I start farming. Ow, I need to get rid of this dirt. See, I've been, I've been digging out, or digging stuff out more than I've been uh, filling creeper holes, so. <laughs> because whenever I see creepers coming, I try to, like, you know, use them to my advantage. You know what I could do? I could use that TNT to blow up this wall. That'd be fun. Let's do that. And then we'll probably cut the episode. But it's going to take a minute to get all this stuff ready. Um, question is, do I have any sand? I have plenty of TNT. 23 gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, plenty of gunpowder. I have a little bit of sand. I'll go get some more. Dirt to fill in the sand. Got out of here, dirt. Um, so we have our gunpowder. We need... I need to make a flint and steel. So, I have plenty of flint. I have plenty of iron. Or rather, flint and tinder. My bad. Whatever. Flint and steel. They all call me something different. So, how much TNT can we make? We have uh, an uneven amount. So, let's just say we have 20, twenty gunpowder. I believe we need 5 gunpowder each. So we can make four. So that is how much sand is that? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we have just enough. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, let's go make our TNT. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. I remembered. <laughs> Getting good, the door closed. I love my pressure plates because I do not like to open and close doors. Like, I'll open it because I'm walking that direction anyway, but let's light them on fire. Ah, uh, yeah, you're on fire, sucker. Go out. Level eight. So, which wall do we want to blow up? Now, like I said, I want to make this area the pin. So, I kind of like the hill back there, but I think I might build the barn into the hill. So, let's blow this up. Actually, since it's dirt, it would probably be in our best interest to blow it up right there. Oh, yeah. See? That would have been a little bit more devastating if we would have done it where I originally wanted to do it. Ah, zombie! Sweet. Now let's stick this one right, right there. Haha, <laughs> hurt the zombie. This also kind of helps uh, limit the amount of dirt and graveling crap and cobblestone that I'll take in. Since you do lose some when you blow it up with the TNT. Like, I think you lose like 40% of whatever it is that you explode. I'm not quite sure on the exact number. I know the spider's coming. But I don't want to waste time sitting around waiting for him. Yeah, level nine. I don't know what to do with that. I like the wall, but I don't like that wall because it looks crappy now, and I'm not sure what else I can do with it. Fuck it, let's blow it up. I build something awesome over here too. Fuck it. Now this should be fine because it's all stone. See. Genius. Man, I wish I had more TNT. <laughs> because I want to turn all this to grass. I don't want to make, leave it all stone because it's ugly. I hear a spider around. Hey, sweet. Cool. Well, awesome. Hopefully I can come across more creepers to kill so I can collect more gunpowder because TNT is definitely awesome to use to mine. Especially now that I have so much. So much. As far as dirt and cobblestone. Ugh. Excuse me. It's a nice stretch. Ugh. It's kind of early in the morning. I got up early on this lovely Wednesday. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of work in between episodes. Just so you guys don't have to watch the boring bits. But um, I'll try to include more of the actual build. Because I, I know some people out there really like watching the builds. But this wasn't really that complicated. So I did the frame first. Then just kind of win as I go. The house is a little bit more complicated because it's over water, so I had to like it was annoying. That was kind of complicated too, but not really. It was fun, easy builds. So anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.